Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for joining once again the Swiss Living Team Live Talk. And today is, uh, was the last day of Maud Jaillet. She finishes 19th uh, in the Ilka 6 class. But it's not over for all the sailors. Uh, Matteo Sanstrans has the medal race tomorrow. And today, a very solid day again from Linda Farni and Maya Sigenthaler, who will join us in a few seconds. Uh, Sebastian and Lucien have their last qualifying day tomorrow. They are 12th overall, so they know what they have to do to end up in the medal race. Uh, today was a light wind day, uh, back to light winds, uh, but Marco Versari is much better than me to tell you all about this. Hello, Sophia. Yes, I followed uh, all the actions and uh, I made uh, the usual recap with uh, a little bit of uh, info in this, uh, for this uh, new weather they got uh, today. Muggy weather today in Tokyo with um, high temperature as usual, high degree of humidity, some uh, isolated thunderstorm that were passing by mainly over the city of Tokyo, not really on our racing course, but cloudy and a southerly gradient wind that is the tail from the typhoon uh, on a speed, a wind speed of seven to eight knot decreasing over the day. On the Sagami Bay, Maud was racing on uh, Enoshima racing course, Seb and Lucien on Kamakura and Lindemeyer on Sushi. For Lindemeyer, two races today, Seb and Lucien, they had three races and Maud, she had race nine and 10. It was expected, at least from the weather forecast, a little bit of a sea surface current, um, mainly affecting the outer courses. But what is the fun of today? It's following Linde Maya on their battles because they really fought hard over the two races today, even bringing home some good results. Here at the begin, they just uh, block the France, but then after they tuck, by blocking the French, then they meet the Slovenian and they are forced to attack again. Then after, still same upwind, we have Linde Maia fighting again with the Slovenian, uh, getting forced to tuck and uh, go back on starboard. Then in the second upwind, still the battle continue with the Slovenian uh, till the last part of the upwind number two. On racing number six today, as well, again, fighting on, uh, on upwind by uh, tackle battling. And we have Netherlands and Switzerland fighting in the first upwind, then uh, fighting again closer to the mark. Second upwind, Slovenian came back in the game like it was in the first race of today. And then again, another tack against Brazilians and Another one, the ninth that I have count uh, with a Slovenian. Pretty much fun. Thanks, Marco. And it was really fun to follow the girls once again in Enoshima. Uh, if they are so powerful, of course, it's because they're very good on the water. But not only, mental strength is the key. And today we have a pro about this, Leo Held, joining us. He's a judo superstar, but he's also a Linda and Maya for a 70 mental coach. Um, Leo, how are you? Just put the sound on, please. I'm fine. Thank you, Sophia. So, Leo, tell us a bit uh, what is your uh, impressions on the girls so far at the Olympics? I feel them in the last time when we meet us together in Santander and what I hear about the communication, I think the communication is quite good. So what I hear on the boat, on the, on the rep is that in the rip at that day really communicate uh, extremely good pretzies and uh, the day them what, what they had to do and so and I follow this today when I was in a weightlifting room <laughs> between my series in bench press or lifting and I was always with them, but, but I, I think they are okay. And afterwards, I have a small talk with, with, with Meyer, and so I think they are in a good shape, they're in a good way. Yes, that's good. I have a good feeling. <laughs> Maybe tell us a bit, how did you work with them uh, before the games? Uh, my work is listening and listening and listening and activated the resources of the athletes 
I think that they know what they had to do. And sometimes it's always to make it uh, open because they are experts. They're, they're the experts of the solutions. So my job is only to make clear that they maybe, sometimes you think something, but only if you say it, you understand what you're thinking. So my job is only to activate the resources and to bring them the, the res resilience that they know that they are on the, on the driver seat and they can accept it very well. If something is not going so good, they can accept it and they can turn around and look forward. So this kind of positive thinking and solution thinking, I think this is, you can feel it. Well, I think we can feel it. Of course, it's not over yet, but we feel they are super strong. Maybe, Leo, one last word for them, because they're listening to us. They're joining in a few seconds. What do you want to tell them? I think I've, if you look at the faces of them, they're laughing. And I think on the boat, they have fun. And they do something, but for me, for a judo player, I would do that what I do, what I love very much to this judo. And I think these two girls, they love sailing. And if they're on the boat and they love sailing and they sail and they let it flow, it flow. And the boat is going to fly. <laughs> Perfect. Thank you look, very look, much. Look, look at their faces. Look at their faces. That's all. Let the boat fly. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. Now we want to see these girls. We want to see you laughing. Girls, how are you? What do you say to, to Leo? Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Leo. <laughs> How does it feel listening to your mental coach? Um, it's normal. We are listening all the time to him. <laughs> so, no, it's nice to hear his words. And how we just had a, we just had a phone call uh, like one hour ago. And it's always really nice to talk to Leo because he finds always good words to, to believe like what we think and to believe in our strengths. And I, I, I really like it. It's very supportive in a very good way. And girls, do you feel strong? Because we have the feeling that you are on fire from what we see, but can you tell us how you are? <laughs> Yeah, I think I think we are strong. I think it. Yeah, uh, it's hard to say, but yeah, the last few days it showed that we did really good, and as well the training race we did, it felt really good. And yeah, we are just kind of look forward to like. Leo always says like I don't know how to say in in English to, sich selber um for sich selber la überraschen. You know what I mean? To, to let yourself being surprised about yourself. Yeah, and I think that's the, that's the thing we are doing at the moment. <laughs> yeah, and I think the, the strong part about us at the moment is that we really stay in the present moment and we take race by race. We are just doing the things that we practice all the winter and all those years. So in the end, it's not so complicated. You just have to do what we've learned. <laughs> Keep it simple. And it's working so far in many different conditions because it was pretty strong on the first days, light today. So you found your marks in all the conditions, right? Yeah, it's really nice that we, especially yesterday when it was strong in, in the second race, yeah, we went, managed to do a really good race. And for us, it was kind of like, yeah, it's one of the first time that we, we really feel competitive in these comp conditions. And it's really nice to feel that and to show that as well to the, each, to the others that they are a bit scared. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Switzerland is going to start scaring the other ones. Uh, talking about the fleet, you have friends, you have... Uh, training partners because you always train with other 470 girls uh, how's the atmosphere with them do you cheer with them do you are you competitors how is the atmosphere at the moment i think people they react quite different on stress so like stressful situation and sometimes it's even like a little bit painful to see like others 
like being so overwhelmed with the situation with Olympic Games and it feels like they look to the Olympic Games like a really um, special event. Of course, it's a really special event, but in the end, it's just a 470 regatta. It's not, uh, we are not uh, flying uh, an airplane or whatever. It's it's still a boat and it's still a competition. So yeah, I like I like to have some small talks with the other, but in the end, the boat park is so much bigger than it used to be. So we don't see them a lot. <laughs> So you were a lot with the Swiss team and uh, in the hotel, of course, because you were stuck there. Maybe show us uh, what your evening dinner looks like <laughs> so that people understand how is your, your daily life You're in Enoshima. really want to see this? Yeah, we need to say that the, um, sometimes we order food. So and it's the first time that we um, managed to order sushi. <laughs> Girls, I think it's important to take care of yourself. So eat as many sushis as you want. Um, we'll have to finish this discussion now, but please make sure everyone is cheering for you and uh, we believe in yourself as much as you do. Thank you. Merci. Thanks for joining. Have a nice day. Um, thank you very much. So tomorrow the girls have a day off. Uh, no racing for them. All eyes will be on Matteo, 8.30 for the medal race as well as the 49er boys who start at uh, 5 a.m. for the three last qualifying races. Thanks for joining and see you tomorrow.